are the worries, um, you know, of all the markets in the world, the U.S. is the one that is held up. A lot of the other markets have not. Does that give you any cause for concern? It does. I mean, we certainly know that the U.S. Uh, has, has performed better as of late, and some of it is for the reasons that you just mentioned. We also know that we're more expensive. So it's really forward-looking from here. Uh, we're, we're probably at peak earnings. Uh, we know the Fed's going to continue to raise interest rates. So it's largely on valuations that within our multi-asset framework, we would prefer to look at opportunities outside of the U.S. Uh, we recognize what's happened here, but it's about looking forward, and we just like opportunities elsewhere right Shannon, now. Shannon, how about you? I think it's important to acknowledge the relative valuation um, and the attractiveness outside of the United States. But if you look at the fundamental economic data, as, as Steve just pointed out to us, um, we've got great, uh, great strides in GDP here in the United States. We've got still low unemployment. Wages are still below 3% year over year. I think there's still a little bit of room to run in U.S. stocks, um, you know, not at the, uh, you know, not taking out that there are also opportunities outside of the United States. But we still, we still like it here in the U.S., particularly on the, uh, the large cap side. Mark, you know, depending on how you look at it, uh, the leadership of technology may be a pro or a con. Credit Suisse's Jonathan Golub had an interesting comment uh, regarding technology, saying that that sector would inherit the earth. I mean, basically, this is a leader. This is going to be the earnings leader. So in some respects, when it comes to earnings season, shouldn't we just care about what technology does? I mean, as long as the rest of the market does all right, most of the gains are fueled by technology anyway. That's where we need to see the, the leadership when it comes to the earnings picture. Well, you're right about technology. Uh, what's the stat? Seven names have really led most of the market, and the rest of the market uh, hasn't participated as much. We, we've seen this before, and while we recognize that today's technology companies, to your point, real companies, real earnings, changing our lives, uh, again, everything at a, at a valuation. And uh, overall, we're fine with technology. It's just some of those fang names, so to speak. And it'll be interesting to get a, a read out of Netflix uh, very soon here. But we just think that they're overvalued. And, and you can get the same type of technology growth in, in China for a little bit less uh, valuation. So again, we recognize the importance of technology. Uh, we just think uh, everything at, at a price. And uh, some of those names have just gotten overvalued at this point. Shannon, how about you? I mean, you acknowledge that uh, there are other parts of the world that are cheaper. However, when you look at what the expectations are for GDP here in the United States, as Steve pointed out, we could still get more room to run here. But do you buy technology, which has been the market leader, or do you look elsewhere within the market? I think we're being very selective within technology. I think to the point, I think there's uh, differentiation amongst the technology names. Um, we're looking at things like, you know, the, the threat to advertising. If we do get some softness in the economy, there's going to be some of those fang stocks that are particularly exposed to that. Um, but I think from a, a, the perspective of, you know, juxtaposing this era versus the dot-com bubble, I mean, again, these are, you know, real companies, real earnings. Uh, and, you know, we think that there's still some opportunities within the sector. All right, Shannon, thank you very much, Mark. We appreciate your time today. Thank, thank you, you so much. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.